Hey guys, this is Echo Samarx, and you're checking out some tech tips on Sonic Academy. So this video, we're going to be continuing with this little drop that we have going in from the previous videos. And we're going to be looking at parallel reverb, but more specifically, tempo synced parallel reverb. So you can use this, this tip and trick in a lot of different ways. You can use it on basses, you can use it on drums, you can use it on uh, leads. We're going to be checking out on leads right now, on the lead synth in kind of like a progressive style drop. So what is parallel reverb? Well, we hear a term all the time called parallel compression. Um, I made a joke in a previous video that all the cool kids are doing it, and it's something that, that comes up a lot. Like if you go to any mixing forum, odds are in the first few pages, someone's gonna talk about parallel compression. Well, you can parallel basically any effect. You can do parallel EQ, you can do parallel reverb. All it means or all it entails is that you set up an aux or a bus or a send, whatever term your DAW likes to use, and you put that effect on the aux, the bus, or the send. So in Logic, they are called buses. I call them auxes because I used to use Pro Tools, hence my Pro Tools skin. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a bus, and I'm going to go to bus 4. And I'm going to hit Option or Alt on my keyboard, and it's going to set the aux or bus send to unity which is zero decibels all right so we got this set to unity now i'm sticking this on the entire stack of my lead sound which if you've seen the previous videos from this tech tip series you're gonna you're gonna know that this is five different sounds two coming from massive and three coming from silent but i'm sticking it on all five of them right now just so you can hear the effect fairly pronounced you could play around if you have a stack of sounds only putting on one or two. I do that all the time. It's a good it's a good thing to try messing around with. But anyway, I'm going to load up a reverb plugin now and I'm going to load up a specific one just so we can talk about this idea of tempo syncing your parallel reverb. So I'm going to choose Vengeance Vverb and I'm using this one just because it has a very clear and concise sync tab that you can see the note values right here, 32nd, 16th, 8th note, quarter note, and so forth. So what we're going to do is, we or what we've done already, rather, is we, we've set up a bus or an aux send, and I've thrown on a reverb on that aux or bus send. So now we have parallel reverb, but now it has to be tempo synced. So to do that, you need to either do two things. Make sure you're using a reverb like I am right now that has a tempo synced pre-delay value or what we're going to look at a little bit later in this video where you can convert uh, milliseconds to, to actual kind of rhythmic values. We'll see how we can do that in a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to set this to an eighth note. I'm going to take out some of the low frequencies, and we're going to crank the mix up right now. So I'm just going to play a note on my keyboard. <laughs> do you hear how I, you, you hear the actual note and then you hear that reverb kind of kick in and turn this off all right so there's reverb coming from the actual synth but then when i turn this on you're going to hear this so what this does the reason why a lot of producers and djs like to use it is it actually kind of creates like a delay because the the pre-delay is tempo synced if you don't know what pre-delay is or you're a little you're a little fuzzy on that idea Basically what, what this reverb is doing now is it's saying, hey, we're going to wait till an eighth note of time elapses at 128 beats per minute until we hear the reverb signal. So if I turn this pre-delay down, or just turn it off actually, right, we don't have that little bounce. Let's, here it is with the bounce. And in a drop and in a section of the song that's really dense, this can really help make your lead synths or you could or other instruments like snares and hi-hats. It's kind of fun to play around with too. But it can really make them kind of sit in the mix how you've envisioned them or maybe how you've been trying to get them to. So with this specific example, I don't think I would end up putting it on all five sounds in my drop. But what I would mess around with is putting it on maybe one or two of these a fairly pronounced good amount, and that would kind of make certain elements of this lead stack have that rhythmic pre-delay. But let's listen to this. All 
All right, so it's definitely softening up the the lead. And remember, reverb has this three-dimensional effect where it can either pull things into the back of the mix or kind of push them forward, depending on if you have you know, a lot or a little. But it's, it's helping suck it into the mix a little bit, which is, I think, a good thing at this point. But yeah, that's this idea of you just saw parallel reverb and it's tempo synced. Well, what happens if you have a reverb like we use one of the Valhalla's like this, where the the pre-delay is in milliseconds, right? We need to now convert milliseconds to note values. Well, there's a really cool handy site uh, called Music Calculator. We'll look at that right now. So you just go to Google, type in Music Calculator. It's musiccalculator.com. And you can do a bunch of, I guess, just mathematically nerdy things with music on this site, but it's awesome. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to delay timing. Our little demo here, our little ditty is at 128 beats per minute. So I'm gonna change it to 128 beats per minute. And we're gonna go to an eighth note. Well, you can see here, the milliseconds is 234 and change. So in theory, if I change my pre-delay here to about 234, we are going to be right around 234.69, that's pretty close. We now have set up a eighth note pre-delay on a reverb that didn't really give us that option. So let me play this real quick. All right, there is Valhalla, which we had to manually set the pre-delay using um, the music calculator. And there is the V-verb, same effect. I actually like how the uh, Valhalla Vintage Verb sounds, so I'd probably use this in a mix more so than the Vengeance V-verb, but I use that just to show you that you have the option of if you have a reverb plugin that has an, has an easy tempo sync button, try it out. But that's basically it. So just, re just to recap this idea, what we did, what we did was went to musiccalculator.com, clicked on delay timing, I entered in the BPM of my song or production and then cho chose the note value that I wanted to find. And it's right here, milliseconds. All right, and then you'd go back to your reverb and you'd put that value in or as close as you can get to it. Not all reverbs will let you get really exact down to the, you know, the decimal place on milliseconds. But there you go, guys. There's how you can combine two different tips and tricks, tempo synced reverb and parallel reverb all into one kind of technique. And you can, again, use this on leads. You can use it on any type of synth plucks. You can use it on hi-hats and snares. So really anything, get creative with it. Like I said at the beginning, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.